This CoreCon training video explores ways to add projects. There are two primary ways to add projects. From the main menu down to projects, and I'm looking at the all project info page. Both methods are found next to the active projects and actions. We're going to explore the quick project add wizard or the add manual method. And there's also an add project from lead wizard. This method of adding a new project from an estimate is explored in a different training video. But to explain the process, let's take a look at a business process diagram. This diagram explains the steps in converting a lead and an estimate to a project and prime contract. This method of creating a new project from a lead is covered in a separate training video. That video is found in the video listing under Contract Admin and is titled Setting Up Cost Codes, Prime Contracts, and Budgets Using CoreCon Estimate. In this method, an estimate is created in CoreCon Leads, markups are added, a proposal is presented to the customer, once that proposal has been accepted, CoreCon will take the lead and convert it to a project and takes the estimate and converts that to a prime contract with cost budgets, revenue budgets, and job cost codes. Since this is already covered in a separate video, we're just making mention of it here as another method. The method we are going to cover in this training video is the Quick Project Add Wizard, or on the Actions menu, it's called Add Manually. This method skips over the leads and estimating in CoreCon and allows you to quickly add a project directly. The portion that we're covering in this video are the items mentioned in blue on this business process diagram. There's also a second part to this wizard that will also allow you to create a prime contract, job cost codes, cost budgets, and revenue budgets. We're not going to cover the second part of that wizard because that's also covered in a separate training video. That video is also found under the heading Contract Admin and is titled Setting Up Cost Codes, Prime Contracts, and Budgets Import from Microsoft Excel. A couple reminders before we begin the Quick Project Ad Wizard, that companies such as customers, clients, and project owners, as well as other companies you collaborate with, such as vendors, suppliers, subcontracts, architects, and engineers, should already be set up in contact management, although you will have the opportunity to add them on the fly. Also, in a previous video, we discussed project classifications, and we set those up in that video. If you have employees that are also designated as a salesperson, you should also access their employee profile in the HR module and designate them as a salesperson. There's a little checkbox for that. Also, before you begin this wizard, you're going to want to gather relevant information, such as the drawings, specs, and photos. Again, we're under the main menu under projects next to active projects. We went to actions and we're going to select add manually. The first step is to add a customer. If your customer is not already in contact management module, you can add a new one from here. I'm going to select one that's already been set up. The same is true for a contact. Remember that contacts should have an email address. Since I already have one set up, I'm going to choose that, but I could add a new contact on the fly and then click next. Next, we're going to give it a project number. If you have an internal job numbering structure before you came to CoreCon, those could be used. CoreCon also will allow you after the fact to change those project numbers. A reminder though, a project number can be any alphanumeric string as long as it is 25 characters or less. Now we're going to give it a project title. So 
Since we didn't use estimating, I'm going to skip over the bid due date and due time and select a sales contact. This is optional. I also want to select a bid contact if available and a project manager. A sales contact does need to be designated as such in the HR module in the employee profile. We'll give it an estimated start date and an estimated finish date. Next, we're going to add the project address or site address. Many times it is the same as the customer's billing address or shipping address, but in this case, we're going to give a site location. And click Save and Next. That was step two. Step three is adding the classifications. This was also covered in a separate training video. We're going to tag an existing classification for the lead source and the project type. I'm also going to select from the profit center, the department or division in my company that's going to be doing the work. And I'm going to click save and next. Next, we're going to add drawings. If you're just starting out a new project, the drawings may be a bid set or a permit set. Corcon will allow you to add drawings throughout the process and include a build set later. I could click in this rectangle and it'll pull up my file browser, or you can also drag and drop drawings. For now, I'm just going to drop in these two. I can always go back and add more in the projects feature called drawing specs and invitations to bid. And then I'll click next. Now we're going to rename these. We want to do this because this will show up on certain documents and templates as a list of referenced documents. The release date would be the most current revision date. And you can also select from the disciplines. Disciplines can also be added to in Corcon's global settings. Then click Save and Next to step five. Step five is similar. In this case, we're just adding one set of specifications. You can add more as you go using the Corcon Projects feature called Drawing Specs and Invitations to Bid. And we'll click Next, go to step six. We're also going to rename this because it will show up on things like prime contracts and subcontracts as a reference document. And click Save and Next. Now step eight. Step eight is the beginning of the progress photos. If you're just starting out a new project, these may be photos from pre-bid meeting, a walkthrough, and so on. You will be able to add photos in the documentation module throughout the project. Then we'll click Save and Next. That's the end of the first part of that wizard. In a separate training video, we explored how to add a prime contract starting from this point. We can use either the Microsoft Excel import file method or the add manual method. Since these are covered in a separate training video, we'll stop at this point. If you are the person in your company that sets up the project, but somebody else sets up that financial portion under the prime contract, you would select no. If you were the person in your company to set up both the project and the prime contract, including the financials and cost codes, then you would continue from this point. We'll select no and click next. The next step in the process would be to add companies that you're going to be collaborating with through the project directory under the tab project team. That's going to be covered in a training video immediately following this one. You can now begin to edit and add additional information. If you're editing the project header, you could just click the edit button and any of the information that we just entered can be edited or added to. Project description would be appropriate. You can also start to view associated documents. For example, going to the drawings and specs tab, we can see the drawings and specifications. We can also go to link files and begin to add those as well. There's also general information that can also be viewed. Back to the quick links. Progress photos now are found under the documentation module. And if you had added the prime contract in the second part of that same wizard, you would see that under contract administration. You can also add a single photo as a main project image. You do that simply by clicking in the rectangle. If you'd like to know more about the information in this training video, we encourage you to go to the help articles under the Corcon module, go to leads and projects, down to projects, and we discussed the lead to project wizard and demonstrated the add project manually wizard. 
also known as the Quick Project Ad Wizard. 